today we have the owner of Moon Goddess Essentials. And yes, Queen, we are excited to be here with you today. Thank you for giving us this opportunity for a sit down. And not only have I used these products, I want to let everyone know I use them. I have my favorites. You constantly upgrade your line. You constantly have something new. So once I you know, think that I have a good product and it's my favorite, you wow me again and amaze me <laughs> with a different product. I actually use these products for my guests. It gives them a sense of luxury and something special um, that they wouldn't experience at a hotel. So it's exclusive only to our verbal location. And I want to thank you for working with us and um, giving us that opportunity to feature the products. The clients love them. They take them home. I do have an unpackaging video, so I'm going to link that. So, Queen, indeed, your crown has many colors. <laughs> and I would like to first take a look and give the audience the opportunity to know who you are. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm 52. <laughs> I'm a vegan over 20 years. And I am a bodybuilder competitor. And I make products to target alopecia. In a nutshell. Absolutely. Oh, and I am married. I have a husband. He's so very she's, demanding. She's off limits, guys. Yes. She's off limits. <laughs> and yes. I mean, honestly, with a background like that, you said that you do bodybuilding, um, you're a vegan. It's not a coincidence that you have the product line that you have. Yes. Is this what expired the product line? Was it a time that you couldn't find products that you would be proud of using? Well, no, it was actually... Um, because I developed alopecia, like maybe some 10 years ago, like my hair started thinning a, a long time back when I had dreadlocks. So, but I didn't even pay it any attention. I just covered it up as people normally do to the dermatologist. And they told me I had two forms of alopecia, mm -hmm. which was CCCA and which is scarring alopecia. And I had actually androgenic alopecia. Now, I knew about the androgenic alopecia because I got my hormones checked and everything like that, but I didn't know about the CCCA. So I ended up trying the um, the cream that they prescribed and my face just broke out, like literally like, and I was like, oh, oh no, no, no. Well, let me try to go the holistic route. Let me go the holistic route and I'm gonna do it like, you know, day in and day out. I'm not going to skip a day. It's very consistent. And I started seeing progress. What is the holiday? Could you say that again? What is the holiday? <laughs> say it for us. <laughs> holistic. Yes. Holistic. Okay. So holistic when you approach. say the holistic route, someone may be ignorant, right? What I mean? <laughs> when natural. you say that. All natural. All natural. And I mean all natural. I don't mean partially natural. I mean everything from the earth. Um, nothing else outside of that. Great. Right. And uh, once I went to the holistic approach, um, then I started seeing a lot of progress. So I'm, I'm researching, I'm, I'm diving in, I'm diving in because it's not something that I knew a lot about in the beginning. You know what I mean? I did a lot of research on formulating the products that I sell. And they all formulated towards different forms of alopecia. A lot of people don't know that you know, alopecia just means hair loss, but there's so many different forms on why people lose their hair. And so once you have the reason why, you, you know, you have hair loss, then you can properly treat it. But if you don't know, it's just like playing Russian roulette, to be honest. I understand. So, mm -hmm. so basically what you're saying, if someone says I have alopecia, that's just really the symptoms that they're experiencing. It's not the root cause. That's just hair loss. It's just hair loss. That's that's now what I would recommend anyone with alopecia, go to the dermatologist so they can diagnose which kind you have. And then once you know which kind you have, then you can properly treat it. But a lot of people, they don't do that. So your product line was actually started on you researching what was going on with your own hair. Right. I do know that I use the hair tonic. Um, I love the shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo and conditioner and the soap that you use is available, like I said, once again, for my Verbo gas. You have to have like a weekly routine. If you are not taking care of your hair or if you have alopecia and you're putting like waste fronts on and things like that, it's just going to... It's going to make it worse, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, throughout my transition, 
I wore a lot of uh, hair wraps, as you see, or I wore wigs that I can remove at night. Or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If I'm going out in public, I'll just whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Keep then I come home, right, right, yes. right, I set it off. <laughs> but them lay front, they glue. It causes CCC alopecia. I mean, because I used to wear lace fronts. I used to wear them. Mm -hmm. And that's what really damaged, uh, I'm not going to say it damaged your hair follicles. What it does, it creates inflammation under the scalp and the follicles can't come through. You know what I'm saying? So, and the next thing that I realized that helped my alopecia was changing my um, my diet. Even though I'm a vegan, um, having more uh, foods that are anti-inflammatory, like mm -hmm. a lot of fruits and a lot of raw veggies, mm -hmm. helped it a lot. So, yeah. And you, by the way, have a cookbook. What's the name of the cookbook? And it is available on Amazon. Is that oh, correct? Healthy Vegan. Healthy Vegan. Yes. All right. Yes, Healthy <laughs> Vegan. Yes. Oh, can double check to see what you're putting inside of your body and you can offer some great recipes to get them started. Yes, yes, ab absolutely. Cause my mom has been bald for so many years. She has autoimmune disease, um, which is lupus. Definitely has lupus. And so her hair, basically, uh, your system attacks the hair follicles, um, you know. And, but when she changed her diet, and using my products, they are, her hair is growing back so nicely. I can't even, she's actually on my website. Right, so this business has been successful for you, but it sounds like it wasn't the extra income they got you started. You weren't looking for a second oh, no, income. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't a second income. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually that I've always had a passion for anything holistic. Mm -hmm. um, and when we went through the lockdown, it just gave me that, I had the time. I had the time to do the research. I had the time to formulate the the products and things of that nature. So, you know, I was in my zone. <laughs> I was in my zone. I'm making products. I'm like, and I want to make more, but do I have the time to make products that's a high quality? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I have so many ideas, but I'm like, okay, we got to have a balance. So it's just... Let's just keep it here. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, so, yeah. and when you say balance, what is balance to you? What, what, how do you, um, because you have a, a, a main source of income. This is a second stream. It has, even though it started out as your passion, it has become a very successful business where you're selling products nationwide. Where are some of the places I know we can purchase them from the website? You're also on Etsy. Is that correct? Yes, Etsy. Ooh. When I started off, I was scared to death because I didn't know what the uh, response was going to be. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to be a shop that had like low ratings. Like, you know, you go to them shopping because <laughs> I look at ratings the first thing I, I always think look at the product, I'm looking at the review. Mm -hmm. So, but I knew that the product was good. So when I went to Etsy, yeah, I had some fear, there was some fear in there, but I did it because that was the vibe that that came to me like you gotta go and it is my best seller i'm five star review and i put my heart into it you put your heart into, I put it. My heart into it do you believe that you're successful because of the business strategy used and we're going to talk about the business strategy because it may be other um people that's in your position that may have a good idea maybe they're afraid to get on se or, or try out um um, different websites or places that will allow them to fulfill products. Do you think that you're successful because of the passion behind your product or you think that you can provide a strategy that any small business can get started for online products? Well, I think the success is, number one, I have great customer service. That is a, like a key. Like, it's a, yo, um, I want this, I want that. Okay, I can customize it for you, you know. So packaging, how you package your product, you know, what does it look like? Does it look appealing? Is mm -hmm. the, you know, does it look like you're in business or does it look like you're, you're hustling something from the side of the street? You know, I mean, I don't right. really put it like that, but right. no. some, some people hustle and some people are in business. Well, um, again, I have an unpackaging that I'm going to link um, in the, so people can see how it arrives. I've, I've never had any issues. But number one, we need customer service. Thanks to the customer. Right. Now, like about something like, let's just say um, if you're making a, a hair conditioner, you know, 
it, it's a lot of different dynamics in making a hair conditioner than it is oil. So you need to know how to make formulas. You know, I'm not good at, at doing a percentage in formulas. So I went and hired uh, someone to do that for me at Viber. Hey, Viber is a wealth of knowledge. Anyone that want to get into this business or any business, Viber is definitely the way to go as far as packaging, labeling, creating websites, uh, doing content. Because do I have time to do all that? No, no, no. I don't have time. <laughs> I don't do like uh, certain extracts or, you know me, I do things from the earth. Like if you get my, say if you get my scrub, right? And I have turmeric and I have all type of carrot powders and things that lightens the skin. This stuff it is good and it will do that, but it will also stain. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. because it's real. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not an extract that doesn't stain. This is real turmeric. <laughs> I love the turmeric. You know what I'm spread. saying? Okay. And my first encounter, I did. I, yes. I stayed in my bathtub, but I had, I used Ajax and it came yeah, out. Yeah, it, so, it comes right out. It, but it, I sell it, I will include a washcloth in it because I know you don't want to mess up your nice washcloth. Yes. You know, or the carrot oil. This is real carrots, sweetie. This is real carrots. Real carrots. Yes. So, <laughs> so. But now that we know how great the product is, right? And we had an idea whether it would be um, beauty or services um, that they would like to offer. Could you walk us through your journey of getting your business started and how uh, you got to where you are now? Yeah, the first thing I did was um, um, EIN number from the IRS. I established what um, type of structure I wanted. Mm -hmm. Uh, whether it be sole proprietor or corporation or something like that. And then I registered through tax assessment. Um, and then I opened up a bank account. You know, you got it because you have to separate your funds. And, and then on Etsy, you need a, a bank account because they actually put the money direct deposit into your account daily. Um, and then that one sister, she did the content for my um, Etsy shop and she described all of my products. She brought my vision to reality. I love um, it. Yeah. And I, I love the idea that you had the vision, but you knew where to go to make certain things happen. Yes, because the thing is, I, don't, I didn't have the time to write or I didn't feel like I was a good enough writer that it would attract, you know, the audience mm -hmm. that I'm looking for. And she was just, this one, she's a vibrant writer and she just brought us to life. And I'm just like, you know what, this is fabulous. So yeah, branding is so important. Like I can't even emphasize the branding. And me being in business for a while, I know that. So I, I knew that I wanted everything uniform. And How long has the business been up and running? Two years. Doing so good. Well, let me ask you because you're <laughs> two years in. You said that you took minimum time because it was some things you just didn't have time for. You had the idea. You knew that you had to hire help. You knew that you had to get these things done to get it off the ground and be successful. Right. Say would be your initial start or startup cost. So the startup wasn't really a lot. I mean, it's what they call wholesale supplies. I ordered all my supplies, which is very, very inexpensive. That way you can sell your products for something that people can afford. You know what I mean? Plus I offer free shipping. Too, because you ever go get stuff and ship and you like, shipping $8, $9. Yes. Now, keep it in the cart. I'll get it when I get somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you're, right. you're absolutely right. So, I mean, some places have ten ninety nine, or depending on how much yeah, you order. I mean, it's, I, expensive. it's expensive. It's uh, expensive. So, so that's great. So you hear that, guys. That's free shipping. So would you say that you started it? If we get a round park figure, would it be $250 to 500 Yeah, I would say. I would definitely say, but when I got on Etsy, cause I knew that that was the, you know, I don't want to say Mecca of, of, yes. of, of, <laughs> of homemade products, but it is. Mm -hmm. And that's where all my money came in. It was just like rolling. And this is the next thing. If you don't take good pictures of your product, the way it looks professional, and add some before and afters or something like that, mm -hmm. people are not going to. And when I put the 
my before and after with the product, it took off. Oh, it took off. So I was like, oh, okay. Mm. This business has nothing to do with, you know, like education that you paid out of pocket for. You didn't have to no. go to do, you know, how to start a business, a no. 599 program. You didn't take up business administration or anything like well, this. Well, well, let me stop you there because um, maybe like maybe 10 or 15 years ago, I had a um, nonprofit organization. Um, I was helping children in Africa. I have the the background mm -hmm. for business. Okay. So I know what, you know, and I know what I like. Yes. And this is one of the reasons why I won't go mainstream. Um, like when I open up a bottle of oil, I want to smell rosemary. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to smell olive oil. I want to smell the essential oils. Okay. <laughs> so but what happens because of the sake of money, it, it gets diminished over time. So I will always make my own products because there's company that's like, hey, we can, no, I'm good. Well, I think that says a lot about your beliefs when it comes to, I guess, money or, or, or how you see wealth. Mm -hmm. um, because most people that will go inside of this business, that is their ultimate goal. Yeah, that's not my goal. But it sounds like yours one started <laughs> with uh, passionate. So, so tell us what is your goal? It's educating. I like to teach people the beauties of nature. That is just me. That's, I, I mean, you know, I'm not a money, you know, chasing money type of person. My, I find my joy in helping people target whatever issues that they have, whether it be weight loss or whether it be hair loss, whether it be um, hair care products or face pro you know, things for your body and nature because you look so much beautiful with it. I mean, look at my skin. I don't have no makeup on. <laughs> yes. You, That's carrot oil. <laughs> you look good. You I mean, you know good. what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. just the, the, the little things, yeah, that makes you look fabulous, you know, so that's just me. <laughs> so if, what would you say to those who may have a similar mindset? What do you think is necessary for them to use that mindset or use those goals to succeed? What do you believe that everyone has to have to do what you have done? I think... You have to have a certain amount of knowledge on the field that you're in. And, you know, and then I think your competitors as well. It depends on if you're in to make money or if you're just trying to help people. You know what I'm saying? So if you're in it to make money, well, we all in it to make money, but that's not my first goal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When it's your first goal, then things are going to suffer. You know what I mean? Your quality is going to suffer. That's just like open up a new restaurant, right? You go to the restaurant, the restaurant food is like great. Yes. You know, four months down the line, it didn't suck because the clientele didn't pick up to a certain degree, but they cannot maintain the same quality. So for me, it's like I want to maintain the same quality because this is not my first source of income. I already got my first source of income that take care of all my bills. Moon Goddess is just like more like a hobby or... You know, just some, and it helped a lot. You don't know. <laughs> it helped a lot. I love a hobby that pays. You know, I do it mainly to just, so for someone to text me, inbox me and say, you know, my hair has grown. Your products are phenomenal. It's all the joy I need, trust me. So your number one selling product is those related to um, assist with alopecia yes. or hair loss. Hair loss, yeah. Is there any product that is new or maybe one that you want to make us aware of or that you'll like to also discuss? Well, the one that I love, and this is for because I'm aging, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> I, think, I think we all would agree. I'm aging. <laughs> and I love the turmeric facial lotion or body lotion. It is phenomenal. I took um, cloves and cloves, it has this drawing ability, like it absorbs. So I infuse that into this and honey, when I talk about it, it leaves your face tight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yes, it's my, oh, I love it. I love it. Other wears is you like it. And my mother, let me tell you something. If it don't pass her, <laughs> cause she's critical, it don't pass. So yeah. Awesome. Um, so I want to make sure that the people have the info of where to shop. They can go to moongoddessessentials.org. Is that correct? Yes, moongoddessessentials.org. 
or they can go to Etsy and my shop name is Moon Essentials 225. And they can also reach out to you if they have any questions about which product is right. They can reach out to you at Nicole at MoonGoddess.org. And if you have alopecia, get a diagnosis, please. It makes our lives a lot easier. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. This sister is burning up. <laughs>